Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you for chatting with me this morning. No problem. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, Jennifer, uh, could you uh, tell our, our, our um, I guess, uh, watch uh, people that are watching this video who you are? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm Jennifer Smart. Uh, I lived in this community for 13 years. Uh, five years ago, I started a business called Revintage TO. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I upcycle, I make organic soy teacups. Mm -hmm. I transfer Victorian uh, anatomical and entomology imagery onto the plates. Uh, mm -hmm. And I make posters out of salvage trials. Yeah, I also have three kids uh, <laughs> as well, so. That's crazy they that you have, have the time to do all that. Yeah, well, I love yeah. your stuff though. I actually have a couple of your pieces. Thanks. I have a few of your pieces. I have a, I'm looking Ooh. at it right now. I have the, what a place nice. with skulls on it. Well, that's one thing. And then we also, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we also have uh, the coasters as well. Like, we love them. Awesome. They're, they're, they match our style. Oh, that's why we like that. Sort of, we like that sort of, uh, you know, modern, sort of gothic sort of look. I, I don't even know how to explain yeah. it. <laughs> right? Yeah. I try Try to use the tag that it's like vintage with a modern twist. Yes, yes, it's, it's 100 percent what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, right. It took me a few years to come up with that. <laughs> and then, and then you always um, help uh, support our schools as well at, at Perth uh, for sure. For, for, for sure. There, and I remember seeing all your stuff there even before all that, and then seeing all your stuff like online. Yeah. And, and we love it. We love it. My wife, first time she's seen it, is like, I can't, I have to have that. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll get her. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never refuse that. Yeah, this community has been really important. Like, even before I started the business, um, you know, we live here mm -hmm. and it was very different when we moved in. Mm -hmm. There wasn't the same sense of community that we have now. Mm -hmm. uh, and so there was a bunch of moms and I in the park. And we started Friday night potlucks. And then that led to Easter egg hunts and to yeah. fireworks yeah. and to a lot of the awesomeness that we have here now, which yeah. is great. 100%. It's definitely changed because mm -hmm. I've been in the neighborhood about 11 years as well. So, okay. lots of change. So much change. So much yeah, lots change. of we love change. It. Crazy. Yeah, yeah I, I know. I know a lot of more neighbors now for sure because everyone's everyone's friendly. Oh, Everyone helps each other. It, it's pretty cool. I love this neighborhood. Yeah, very neighborhood. Yeah, I say it's like living in a small town. It sure is, especially when you're walking on Dupont. Right. I always run into someone I know on Dupont. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so funny because <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, with having bigger kids, uh, so they're out riding their bikes and stuff, and I know every. <laughs> Somebody will always be like, oh, I saw your kids. <laughs> like, you can't get away with anything. No, for sure. So with COVID has happened, because I, I know you, you used to do a lot of craft yeah. shows to, to uh, sling your wares. For sure. And, and then you have it in some, some yeah. shops as well. So with COVID right now, what has how has it affected your business? Uh, it's huge. So... Uh, obviously, all of the markets are closed in Toronto uh, and will be for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was the majority of my revenue stream. I very much have a product that you want to see and feel. Uh, and so that's been it. Um, it's been tough. Uh, there's obviously a huge push to use platforms like Etsy. Mm -hmm. um, but with that, it's trickier, right? Like mm -hmm. you have a global competition. Yeah. Um, the shipping costs on my products are super high because they're China. Yeah. And no so way. that has, yeah. And so that has its own challenges. Um, thankfully, as of today, the mm -hmm. arts market in Riverside and in the Junction are reopening. Yay. As, <laughs> yay. But even with that, they had four locations. Mm -hmm. And because of this, they're now down to two locations. And so I'm no longer at their college in Ossington because it's not there. Yeah, that, yeah, that's that's yeah. an expensive location too. That's why for rent, I can only imagine. Right, and that was my very first retail spot. And so it's heartbreaking to have it not there anymore, but I'm grateful to be in the junction, which is close to the a little bit closer. You walk there. A little bit <laughs> closer. Here. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, I love that. Sh I, I love that market over there. I've, I've been there many times as well. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. 
A lot yeah, of Junction Triangle sure. residents, I, I know, are in there as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's very much about supporting like artists and supporting locals. So it's great. Mm -hmm. So, so how could uh, like with your I guess lack of places for you to sell your stuff now? How can right. how can our community or the communities around us help support you, Jennifer? How, how can we help out? Well, I mean, there's always the bigger picture of supporting uh, local as much as you can, like going into independent stores, going into the arts market. There's also Beetle on Dundas and Brock, which is another great shop that has uh, Junction Triangle residents that are artists there. Mm -hmm. um, I also offer contact lists, delivery and pickup. Uh, you can shop my Etsy store and there's a code for free shipping. Oh. And that's some of it too, is just, yeah. Uh, I do offer custom posters. It's not online, but I will post it on the Facebook page where Ooh. I can turn your kids' artwork into yeah. posters. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Okay. Yeah. I'll put a link that's to it. all that stuff down perfect, down below perfect. to your post. So, so yeah. we'll look to your website. We'll talk about all these things. Oh, that, I didn't realize that itself. So that could be, that's pretty cool. It is really cool. And a lot of the times people are like, well, my kids too. Like, what could you do? And those like sort of, abstract drawings make the best posters and I so i will have a post up on that today okay no that's 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 a yeah. that's a good uh that's a good offering for sure having something right. like that oh fantastic mm. like a lot of times we 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 frame some of my daughter's stuff you know like a couple things here but sometimes we right. wish we did a little bit more but we can't have that much frame oh. stuff in our house <laughs> it's true oh my god i'll tell you we did that too and you always do it with like the first, right? And by the Perfect. time my third comes around, I'm like, dude, there's no room. No, like, there's no room. Sorry, buddy. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll take a picture of it uh, on our phone. <laughs> exactly. I'll remember it in my heart. <laughs> uh, so um, I want to help you out as well, Jennifer. So, and yeah. also give you a bit of promotion and stuff. So I want to buy a $50 gift certificate to your wow, store. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. And and we'll, and we'll wrap it off to community, and then whoever the wins, they'll they'll they can spend it at your store. So so whatever they just yeah. to do as well though. And I, all we have to do is yeah, of course. Uh, and all we ask is our community to share it, like it, post it, so we get some virility, get some promotion for yourself. Because right now it's just you no, know, we can, we as a community we have to do all we can do to help each other right now. Yeah, absolutely. That's really awesome of you. And I feel like I'm in good company with Carlos and Maria uh, <laughs> with your prior ones. They're two people who really supported me in the beginning a lot. And yeah. so they're very special to me. And yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, I think it's all about, yeah, supporting our neighborhood as we do. And we're good at it. And yeah, shopping local and trying to avoid, you know, big box stores right now because yeah, unfortunately, they're the ones who tend to get a lot of financial support and a lot of independent artists don't. No, they don't. Like that, uh, the serve payment helps a little bit, but not enough to really do much, to be honest, right? And and all the little small guys, we have to remember not to not to forget, but to get the smaller businesses. Like those yeah, are the ones, like you're right, You are just like sick. Well, is that Jennifer? Oh, you yeah. woke up there for a little bit. Oh yeah, sorry, my internet's spotty. Okay. Uh, no, it's just, yeah, like serve isn't going to save us all. And uh, so we got to try to shop small. Uh, it's better for us. It's better for our environment I agree. as well. Yeah. Beautiful. Awesome, Jennifer. Awesome. Uh, I right. want to say thank you for chatting with me today. I know it's a yep. Monday. I know you have three kids <laughs> to, right. to, to handle <laughs> and with schooling all that. I, I, can, I don't even know how parents do it these days. I, I only have one. And it's tough already. And when I hear about three kids, I'm like, Whoa, mind blown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My grade eight science. I'm getting really good at it. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. Beautiful, Jennifer. Again. All right. Thanks for chatting with me today. Um, Thank you, Kevin. Thanks for doing this. My pleasure. We'll be in touch for sure. And then I'm sure we'll right. meet each other soon. <laughs> of course. We'll all be out there soon. Beautiful. All right. Thanks, Jennifer. Have a good week. You too. Bye. Okay. Bye for now.